I'm back for another day of this daily vlog experiment, which is going pretty well so far. I'm having a hoot of a time. I hope you guys are too. And this video, um, the, you jokers requested it. I've got a lot of questions about competition and the world of competition in, in like stand-up or storytelling or really any creative field. So let's chat about competition a little bit. This is what I feel. I am not, hmm, I guess my philosophy in life is like, I don't think that there's just enough love, luck, et cetera in the world so that you have to like hold on to it. Like, if I have mine, then you don't get yours, and like, nom, 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 nom. I don't know why I'm eating the luck, but, um, so I don't believe that. I think there's enough for everybody. Now, granted, I don't think there's like, you know, $30 million movie deals for everyone, but I'm just talking about like creativity. Um, so I think that philosophy in my life kind of helps me navigate the world of competition in creative stuff. So this is where it gets tricky for me personally when it comes to competition because as a creative person, there is no like corporate ladder to climb. There's no like direct path. Like if you do X, Y, Z, you'll get a gold watch or whatever. That doesn't happen. So you're always having to look around at the other creative people in your community or beyond. So you're often comparing yourself to others. And when I start doing that, comparing not just as a learning tool but comparing and being like well they're doing so much better than me i'm garbage when i when that like triggers me that's when i start feeling competitive and that's when i start feeling like oh uh oh eyebrows i'm gonna get you i am really popeye the sailor when i'm competitive um so I feel like for me that's that's where i have to sort of be a little careful because the other thing about me i come from a I come from a blue collar background. I had a dad who really wanted me to be a boy. I was the first born, so I understand competition. I mean, you know, I had to like practice softball until my hands got blisters. I'm like, oh, you be the best. You better win or you're garbage. Ah. You know, there was a lot of that going on. So I understand that path. It just never works for me. When I feel competitive, I am not good. It's weird. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like I get so in my head about trying to prove that I'm good enough or that I belong here, like that it 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 gets it blocks me somehow. And all the times I've had like great auditions or great shows or I've written something, I wasn't writing it for someone else. I wasn't writing it to prove that I was better than anyone. I wasn't writing to win. I was I was writing because I needed to get out. I was writing it because I was just doing the process uh and that that competitive spirit for me, it chokes me a little bit. I don't think that's the same for some people. I think some people strive in that world. So if it's healthy and you're rocking it out, I'd say go for it. I think if you have the philosophy where you get off or you feel better making other people feel like shit, yeah, then you're not going to be in my creative world. Like, I don't like that environment that doesn't help me out. I do like fun competition, you know, I'm, in, I'm into that, like, then I think that kind of happens, like, naturally and organically, if you're in a writing group, or if you're in a class, or whatever, you do kind of like, wow, that was amazing. If you use competition to elevate you, and rise, and rise up, I think that's awesome. I just think, be wary of, like, the trigger, where you, you where it gets a little negative, and it starts eating you up, because here's the deal, especially in stand-up comedy, I have seen people destroy themselves, basically, because they're always looking for the thing they don't have. They're always competing with this, this, and then they get resentful, they get hateful, and they end up either stopping or they're miserable a-holes. And I just don't want to live that life, you know? The other thing, the other thing I really think about is competition. There's always going to be somebody better than you, better looking than you, smarter, talented, you know, thinner, whatever the thing you want to be. So. I think it's great to have goals, but if you're striving for the ultimate top, I mean, this is stand-up comedy that I'm talking about. It's not, you don't have to be an Olympian, you know? I don't know. I feel like it's tricky for me. I I, I like the competitive spirit a little um, if it brings out something better in me, but there's a tough line there, man, where if I get competitive, sometimes um, it blocks me, I feel crappy about myself, and I don't like the... I don't like how it makes the community feel. But anyway, those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe you're someone who's like, I love competition, I crush it, I kill it, I murder it, and I'm the best. 
I mean, maybe that works for you. Seems very scary to me. Uh, but maybe it's just dad stuff. Always ending on dad stuff. Well, you guys, I like this question. I hope that helps out uh, a little. Um, and let me know your thoughts on, on competition. Okay? We'll have a super rad day. And, hey, I had a new sticker because I have kept pulling it out so much that my old cupcake didn't have the stickums left anymore. So, welcome the new cupcake. Hello, new cupcake. Nerd, 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 nerd. Bye. You're doing a great job, new cupcake.